Here are over 20 Gmail tips everyone absolutely needs to know. Number 20 will blow you away. So have you ever hit that send button too soon or had an instant regret sending an email? No worries, you can unsend an email within the first 30 seconds. By default, you have about 5 seconds to unsend an email, but you can extend that from your settings. Just go into settings and find the general tab and then bump up the time limit for undo send. Now, if you need to schedule an email, just click the drop down by the send button and choose schedule a send. Pick the time you want it to go out and that schedules an email for you. Now to check your scheduled emails, head over to the right sidebar and you'd find a link to them there. Now let's talk about using shortcuts in Gmail. For some quick shortcuts while using Gmail on a PC, press shift and the question mark key to see a list of all the shortcuts. What I find super useful is hitting the command or control key and the enter button to send a message. Give the others a try and enable more in the settings below. Here's a nifty trick. You can add a period to your email address and it will land in the inbox. For example, oscarfrank18 at gmail.com or oscar.frank.18 at gmail.com would both land in the same inbox. You can even add a plus and some extra words like oscarfrank18 plus socials at gmail.com that would also land in the same inbox as oscarfrank18 at gmail.com. It's like having multiple email addresses with just one inbox. And you can now use the same email address for multiple accounts on the same website with this trick, or even track who leaked your email address. If you're someone who prefers a darker theme or a totally different theme for your Gmail, it's easy to switch this. Just head over to your settings gear and find themes, and then pick the one that suits your style. Now here's another cool feature. Instead of your email taking up the whole screen when you open a particular email, you can use a split screen pane like this one. Simply click on this icon in the top right corner and enable the pane mode from this setting. Now have you ever wanted to check your Gmail messages offline? No problems, just click on the settings gear and then see all settings. Go to offline and enable this from here. You can store emails for up to 90 days using this setting. Keep in mind that this will use the space on your computer. So when you're offline, just go to mail.google.com and this would load the offline version for you without an internet connection. Okay, are you tired of typing the same emails over and over again? Email templates are here for the rescue. Say you often get similar messages from brands and you want to be able to respond to them quickly as they come, go to your settings and then advanced and enable templates from here and then save. Now, when you want to write up that template, Type your response in a new email and then click on this three dots at the bottom right and select save draft as template. Next time you want to use that template, just go to the three dots and then choose template and pick the one you need to use. Now sometimes you might be in a deep flow state or simply don't want to be disturbed by notifications for other reasons. Luckily you can snooze notifications for emails for whatever time frame suits you. Just hover on the email and then click on the clock like icon here. From here set up that time frame for your snooze. You'd really love this one. If your email thread is getting too chatty, you can quiet it down by muting that conversation. Just right click on that message and hit mute. Now to find all your muted conversations, just head over to the search bar and type in the label as shown here and you should see all the muted conversations. And here's another nifty trick. Gmail's color stars is something you can use to keep things organized. Just go to your settings and scroll down to stars and then move them from the not in use to the in use section. Now you can start making your emails with colorful stars as you send them or get them. And oh, guess what? You can have several email signatures for different roles in your email. And this can work whenever you need to send a new email or respond to one. To create one, just click on this icon and select Manage Signatures. You can now create a fresh signature and decide if it's for the new emails or for replies. Easy peasy. Now imagine you're taking a break like a vacation and you need to set up a vacation responder to let folks know that you're out of the office. In settings, just click on See All Settings and then go to the General tab and scroll to the bottom to enable the vacation responder. You can set your vacation message here and pick up the start and end dates and also turn it off when you're back. Enjoy your time off. So there are times when you need to send an email that self-destructs after a set time. Like the message disappears after a set period of time from the recipient's end. Then this is how to go about that in Gmail. Finish your email and hit this icon at the bottom, then set the timer. You can even send an SMS passcode for extra security to the receiver's phone number so they can use this unlock pane to unlock this email. That's really cool. And here's a neat one. You can arrange your inbox so unread emails are at the top and the rest are at the bottom. Just go to settings and scroll down to inbox type and select unread first. There are lots of inbox options here for you to explore. Have fun organizing your Gmail. Now it's important to stay organized if you have a busy inbox. Gmail helps you out with this by allowing you create labels, also known as folders. And this can be used to categorize your emails. Now you can add multiple labels to an email and it will appear in both folders. To create a label, scroll down on the left hand sidebar and select create new label. 
And you can even nest multiple labels within each other by creating sub labels. So you know how Gmail doesn't have a big unsubscribe for everything button? No worries. You can still make your life easier without diving into third party applications. And here's a nifty trick. Just type unsubscribe in the search bar of your Gmail inbox. Chances are the emails you want to escape from would appear here like those pesky marketing newsletters. Most of them have this unsubscribe link within them. So by using the search, you can gather all your subscriptions neatly in one place and you can create a filter that sends them to archive or even trash them whenever they get into your inbox. Now, speaking of filters, here's how to create them. First off, let's understand what Gmail filters are all about. Gmail filters are like the little assistants for your inbox, helping you keep things organized without any hassle. Now, we all get those random emails we don't want, right? Instead of hitting the block button, let filters whisk them away into your trash or say you get a lot of those marketing emails, but you want to save them for a designated reading day under a label. This is what a Gmail filter is meant for. Gmail filters can tuck them neatly into their own folders, waiting for you to read them whenever you want. Now you get the idea. To create a filter, go to your search bar and type in an email or keyword you're targeting. Click the little arrow to refine your filter, get specific with your email addresses, subjects or keywords, and then hit the create filter at the bottom. You should see another menu, pick a category and apply it to the past conversations. Now click on create filter to seal the deal. Filters can do all sorts of tricks like keeping your emails out of spam, labeling your incoming emails, deleting them straight away, even bypassing your inbox or marking those emails as read. You can use filters to forward to another address and also mark important or star your important messages and sort them in categories and a whole lot more. Now, did you know that with a Gmail account, you get about 15 gigs of free space for your emails, Google Drive and Google Photos. If you need a little bit more space, no problem. You can easily find those bulky attachments by going to the search bar and selecting the size option here and running the search. With the search results, you can delete unwanted attachments, eating up your space. Okay, if you ever wanted to share your email with someone, say your assistant, and you need them to be able to respond to emails on your behalf, then this is for you. To grant them access, just go to your settings and then account and imports. Then scroll to grant access to your account and add another account from here. You can even set to mark your emails as unread when others open them. So you always know what you've missed. So there you have it. Type super cool in the comment section below so I know you watched till the end. Also like and subscribe and here are 40 WhatsApp tricks everyone needs to know. Kuidati.